Hi, I'm Troy Patterson. I write the Gentleman's Scholar column at Slate, in which capacity I've received an email asking, is it necessary for the modern gentleman to know how to dance? The writer makes it clear he's talking about real dancing, tap, ballroom, swing. I thought it over and decided, no, it's not necessary. By all means, the next time you're at a party where that kind of thing is underway, feel free to soak on the sideline while your date goes to dance with someone else. Someone more confident, someone more poised, someone more manly and gentle manly than yourself. It is not necessary, but it is desirable. And to that end, I brought myself this evening to the Arthur Murray Dance Center on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan to show you a thing or two about how to cut a rug. So you put together some forward steps and some side steps, and then you've got yourself a box step. It's versatile and it's utilitarian. You can dance to all kinds of music and with all kinds of people. Esther says it's good for dancing with your wife or your boss's wife. Great, so we're going to start right into the box step. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to take a step forward with the left foot, forward, then you go straight to the side, close your feet, then you're going to go back with the right foot, straight to the side, and close your feet. And we're going to try that again, and walk, side, together, back, right, side, together, and forward, so you got it. So, on the dance floor, it is your role as the man to lead. I'm sorry if you don't like this, you can take it up with the gender studies seminar. Really, we don't mean anything by it. In fact, leading, you're going to assume that the woman nominally following is correct, and it's just your job to applaud, to approve, to encourage her correctness. And you're doing this within what is called a frame. So the first thing you're going to do is going to lift this arm right here, so you want to keep your shoulders nice and square. There you go. You're going to take this right arm, you're going to create a shelf for the lady. This is the most important part that you're going to learn. And you're going to go palm to palm right here. Make sure you close the fingers, the more connection the better, okay? Now, really important, you gotta close those feet, because if not, you're gonna step on your partner, okay? All right, so Esther, I'm feeling increasingly confident in my box step. How do I spice it up? Okay, the first thing you should learn after box step is an underarm turn, okay? An all ladies like to turn. Okay. Okay, so all you have to do is take this left hand, Right? And as your right foot goes back, you lift it. Walk, keep doing your box side, close. Walk, side, that's it, and you pick up your lady again. So that's your box step. And with the box step, you can rumba, you can waltz, you can trot like a fox. But still, maybe you want another move in your dance arsenal. Esther recommends salsa. So you're gonna go five, six, seven, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and forward, together, and back, Together and forward, together, back, together. What happens at the end of a dance when you're out socially? How do I wrap things up? Well, I mean, the song would end. You would thank me for the dance, offer me your arm, and you'd walk me back to where I was sitting, where I was standing before with my friends. Thank you for the dance. You're welcome. In short, you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about.